So the 49ers aren't doing a very good job keeping this secret, but the good news is that they're not trying to keep this secret. They are very, very interested in adding tight ends in this upcoming draft. We can go back to the NFL Combine where both John Lynch and Adam Peters talked about how deep of a tight end class this is. They believe that it will be right for the picking for the 49ers who don't pick until number 99. And we also know the history of Kyle Shanahan. Over the years, he has striven to add a compliment for George Kittle at tight end too. You can go all the way back to the Jordan Reed signing in 2020, which might have worked out if Reed could have stayed healthy, but he didn't stay healthy. And he and Kittle were really only on the field together in one game that season. So, oh, what could have been? Well, the 49ers still looking for a plus tight end to add to Kittle. Ross Dwelly, Charlie Werner, those players have done okay for the 49ers, but they haven't really moved the needle in a massive way. And maybe this draft class will allow the 49ers to do it. Speaking of not being able to keep secrets, the latest visit that we have for the 49ers on the 30 for 30 visits is Central Michigan tight end Joel Wilson. And we have some game tape on Joel Wilson. So why don't we roll it? Why don't we see why the 49ers like this guy who analysts expect to be available in the late rounds of the draft, maybe even as an undrafted free agent? This very first play, I'm going to rewind because as a tight end, you have to be able to sell a run block before running out for a pass pattern. And you see, you could see that Mike circled Joel Wilson here for us. Watch him sell the run on the play action. And the way that he sells the run right here with a nice little fake block allows him to slip out undetected. I'm not going to say that's the greatest defense in the world. It's maction though, right? Everybody loves the Mac. Good long strides from Joel Wilson. I think could do some damage in space. Now he's back to an inline tight end roll. A little bit of blocking. Oh, nope. It's a screen. The little deke. And then you see the yards after the catch. Again, the speed on display. He's obviously a plus athlete for the Mac level. Different for the NFL level. George Kittle's a star. Look at that high pointing of the ball. Good route here, too, from Joel Wilson. I'm going to roll, roll that tape one more time after we're done with all of it, because this last touchdown, well, that's the easiest catch that Joel Wilson will ever have. But as far as, you know, looking for somebody to deliver in the pass game, take a look at this one. It's going to be a good route coming straight off the inline position. Well, actually, this is this is the screen. We're going to go, first, we're going to go to the screen where you can see the yards after the catch. The very next score, which is also moving left to right, that's out of a slot position. Fakes the corner, cuts back into the post, and then, you know, the throw is a little bit late for whatever reason, but Joel Wilson has to go up and high point the football one more time here. This is a necessary skill for a tight end in the red zone. Here you have Wilson high pointing the ball. Nice catch for the touchdown. Probably has to get a little bit stronger, probably has to turn into a little bit better route runner. I mean, this is all kind of stuff that you expect from a guy coming out of the Mac. But a versatile athlete, he played quarterback in high school. I think he played some linebacker in high school as well. You want that adaptability at the tight end position. And I think that Joel Wilson, I mean, the 49ers talk about the depth of this tight end class. Well, the fact that somebody like this might be available as an undrafted free agent, uh, that's got to make the 49ers excited as they look to fortify the position that currently features George Kittle, Ross Dwelly, and Charlie Werner other, other under contract. I talk about the 49ers' worst-kept secret, adding tight ends. Well, other tight end visits. I've already done a video on Cameron Lotu. You could type that into YouTube, search it. You'll find the Alabama tight ends film there. Well, you know, with him, we talk about him being a mid-round draft pick, so maybe some of the 49ers use one of their earlier picks on. The 40s, what, 4-7, 4-8? These guys are not Kittle speed, right? Kittle was an athletic freak coming out at 4-5. That's why Sam Laporta, also out of Iowa, might be the preferred choice, but it's hard to see him lasting until the third round, especially the late third round where the 49ers pick. So if Laporta doesn't last because he is – uh, you know, same school as George Kittle, athleticism profile actually, you know, strikingly similar to George Kittle's. If he doesn't last, you have to start looking at tight ends who are going to be probably more on the technician side of things, right? They're not going to be running blazing fast four, five, forties. Those guys don't grow on trees. And if you start looking at the technicians, where Cameron Law two out of Alabama, the four seven, four eight, forty, the good technical route running skills that you know he's also already a good blocker i think he could develop further in that regard but i think he's a player that can fit into that middle round profile that the 49ers are looking for and Braden willis out of oklahoma that's recent news we'll get some tape on him we'll have a show on him in a bit he is also a late round draft pick projection kind of like joel wilson either late round early undrafted free agent bigger school though 
for Braden Willis. Oklahoma obviously plays a higher level of competition than Central Michigan, so that might make him one of the 49ers' 11 draft picks if they want to pick him up. But between Latu, Braden Willis, and obviously Joel Wilson, those are all 30 visits for the 49ers, and those are all suggestions that this team is going to be looking to add at the tight end position. Hell, uh, you know, the 49ers might even double up at the tight end position. By that, I mean they might pick up two of these guys on draft weekend. Because remember, the 49ers were stalked with tight ends last offseason. They might have had six at one point on the 90-man roster. They definitely had five. And right now, they have only three. So there still seems that there's room for two more tight ends on this 90-man for the 49ers. And they have, what, 23 more roster spots before the 90-man is filled. So given, you know, let's just connect the tea leaves. They've been talking about a deep tight end class. They haven't been shy about it. They're hosting all these tight end visits. Uh, these tight ends are going to be available probably into undrafted free agency. Maybe you draft one, sign another, round out that room with five tight ends and see what happens moving into the regular season. All right. Hope you enjoyed the tape breakdown. We'll talk to you very soon with more for 49ers prospect updates.